Hey guys, Neely here. I am coming in for day one of my juice journey, juice and raw food cleanse. Uh, it's actually the evening of day one, so it's almost done. Let's see, it's like eight something. And um, actually, wait, it's actually nine something. So anyways, today has gone well. Um, I didn't get video of what I ate today, but I'm gonna try to do like a day in the life type thing tomorrow. Um, as far as like videoing everything I eat, I was going to try my golden milk. I just made golden milk and I was going to try it for you, but it's burning my hand. Um, anyways, uh, so today went well and I will try to show you everything I eat tomorrow. I did do a soup and salad of the week video that hopefully will come out before this one, um, where I made one of the soups and made one of the salads from the cleanse. Both of those turned out really well, really good. Uh, except for the extra salty salad, but I just added some extra arugula that I had, um, just some extra greens in there to cut the salt a little bit, and that worked really well. So those are really delicious. Um, that's what I had today. As far as hunger, I did really well um, through breakfast. The smoothie I made was really good. I did the chocolate coconut one. And then um, by lunchtime, I was really hungry. <laughs> and I was like, oh, just a salad with no protein does not sound good. But I ate it and I felt fine after that. And it actually satisfied my hunger really well. So that was good. I am kind of tired because, um, or I was this afternoon because I have kind of weaned myself off of coffee the last few days. I went down to half decaf for the last few days and today was the first day with no coffee at all. And actually, I didn't feel too bad, um, especially for the first part of the day. I didn't get any headaches, which I'm glad about. And then I just was really tired. And same as I was the last couple of days, I took a nap in the afternoon three days in a row, which never happens. But um, that is the effect of going off coffee, I guess. So I took like an hour and a half nap today, two hour nap yesterday, totally crazy. But um, it definitely did me good and I'm feeling really good this evening. Once I woke up from my nap, I had my afternoon snack and then um, that kept me really full until I ate dinner, like at 6.30 maybe. And I had the soup for dinner and um, now it's, you know, 9 o'clock and I'm having my golden milk and I am a little bit hungry but not terrible. So I was worried that I'd be starving, but so far so good. I have not added the optional uh, broth or fish today. I am just kind of seeing how I do without it. And then if I really feel like I need it, I will definitely add it. So I just made my golden milk and I am going to um, taste it here for you. I've never made golden milk. I've seen this recipe around a lot. And honestly, I have not been a huge fan of turmeric like by itself. I like it in curry, but not as an overpowering flavor. So, but I really like the um, energy booster drink, the uh, the juice that uh, has oranges and uh, carrots and turmeric. It's really good, and the turmeric is not overpowering. So, I know I like turmeric in some things. So, I am going to try this golden milk. It smells really good, and it has a tablespoon of honey in it, which I don't have tablespoons of honey very often. So should be pretty tasty. So let me give it a try here. Ooh, that is really good. I got the Ceylon cinnamon like um, Krista recommends. And so this is the first time I'm, ha I'm having that as well. And that is really good. Like the turmeric is not an overpowering flavor in that. I really like it. Like even the Singing Canary from THM, um, it's a drink that has lemon and turmeric and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but even that, I don't like the turmeric flavor in that, but the golden milk, it's really good. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna be um, incorporating that more. Maybe I'll have that in the morning too, like instead of coffee. Cause I had the um, detox doctor this morning, like I was supposed to, and it was nice and refreshing, but it sure is nice to have a warm cup of something first thing in the morning when it's cold. So I may, um, I may have to do that, that is so good. I'm going to, um, yeah, relax here and sip on that before bed. And I will be back with some more footage for tomorrow with uh, what I eat in a day. So things are going great. I will be back soon. Good morning, guys. It is day two of my cleanse and it's first thing in the morning and I am having my detox doctor as prescribed. It's, uh, it's actually not half bad. It's pretty good. I was really worried about this one. Never enjoyed green drinks before, but I realized that I'd never tried 
just straight green juice. I've always done a blended blended greens and I just don't like this the texture and the fiber but when it's all juiced like this it's actually pretty good so I'm going to keep sipping on that. It is breakfast time and I'm going to do the cinnamon vanilla delight smoothie. I did this chocolate coconut one yesterday. Oh my gosh it was so good. But I wanted to try this one. It looks good as well. I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything up. The only thing I added that wasn't on the recipe was some glucomannan powder um, just to keep me full longer, get some extra fiber in. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this all blended up. So in an effort to cut down on dishes, I just rinsed out my same jar that I had my juice in this morning. And there is my beautiful cinnamon smoothie. Let me taste it. It is really good. Every single recipe I've tried so far from this cleanse has been super flavorful and just delicious. I am very, very happy. They did such a good job with all of these recipes. So I am going to be enjoying this smoothie for breakfast. And if it's like the smoothie from yesterday, it should keep me full for a while. It is a quarter to 11 now, and I am having my energy booster drink that is carrots and orange and sweet potato and ginger and turmeric it is so good this one is my absolute favorite i am going to savor this i haven't been super hungry this morning the smoothie um tidied me over pretty well but this is definitely just what i needed right now it's super refreshing and um, i am enjoying it and then i will have lunch probably around noon 12 30 something like that here is my lunch i'm doing the rest of my tasty raw kale salad and I added some arugula to cut down on the salt and then also um, a half of a small avocado and it looks so good and I'm very hungry so I am gonna enjoy this. Here's my afternoon snack. I've got the cleansing pesto, uh, which is with uh, cilantro, which is amazing. Some veggies and my liver builder juice that's grapefruit and beet and a few other things. I'm feeling pretty hungry. Um, I made wild rice soup for the family and it was looking pretty tasty. But then I remembered I could have an afternoon snack. I had forgotten about my afternoon snack and I was like, oh, and it's time for snack. So it's working out just fine. Time for dinner. I'm having the arugula, lemon, and celery soup that I made uh, yesterday in my soup and salad of the week video. And I heated it up just a little bit to get it just a tiny bit warm, but not to kill the enzymes. And I'm about to dig in. It's a little after 7 p.m. and I am having my golden milk. I'm watching a movie with the girls and I have been looking forward to this golden milk all day. This is like a treat. So as far as a recap for the day, uh, it went well and I made it through. I did struggle with some hunger and some cravings, which was not fun, but I pushed through and made it. I still have not added the bone broth or the um, fish that is an option. I really want to try to make it through uh, without that if I can, but I will definitely listen to my body. If it gets really difficult, then I will do that, but I was able to um, just kind of make it to the next snack or next meal today without uh, caving or anything. Uh, so that was good. Um, I feel good. I have been, I was a little tired still today, but I didn't take a nap. Uh, I felt like I wanted to at a couple points, but then I was like, no, I'll be all right. And, and I was able to push through and now I'm feeling good. So energy is starting to pick up. Um, I have still not had caffeine withdrawal headaches. This is only day two with no caffeine. Uh, so I'm really glad about that. Um, I think all the good nutrition that I've been getting is really helping me not have all those bad with withdrawal symptoms. So that's good. Um, yeah, so I am gonna go ahead and leave this video here and get it posted. I don't want it to get too long. And then I'll, I'll talk more um, tomorrow on my Wellness Wednesday about how things are going. Uh, but for now, that is it. And I'll try to do another like second half of the week type video. So that's it for today. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will talk to you again soon. Bye guys.